Mount Augustus Maiden, our thanks also to Mount Augustus for their sponsorship. Uh, try again. 15, Rodinia just in front of Veritasium. They're well clear from the others. Around the corner there, Rodinia's going best. And Rodinia has kicked away Veritasium twice hard. But Rodinia, a length and a quarter Veritasium, about five lengths to Margaret's girl, and a further five to Kylie and Lady. Here's the winner coming back, Rodinia. Written by Jess Walsh. Well done, Jess. Good start to the week. I did. The trainer's instruction was to go hard. <laughs> she was a good girl. Makes a good start to the day. On behalf of Steric Transport and Mount Augusta Station, I'd like to congratulate Rodinia, the horse, obviously. It did, did most of the work, I would have thought. Jockey's still not blowing. Uh, owner is Fiona Shellcross, trainer Julie Walsh, and written by Jessie Walsh. Uh, congratulations, girls. Fine team. And I um, hope you enjoy the rest of your main ride. Thanks, John. And they're off to race two. Coach Arena definitely got the best this day. Coach Arena's going like a winner. Coach Arena, that's story. And Coach Arena's about five lengths in front and going to win easily. Coach Arena, hard held, wins by six. Field of Bella and Pegasus Park. Well, usually it's not much point giving them because the bad jockeys don't listen to you, then good, one, good ones don't need instructions. Old horse, old jockey, showing them the way. <laughs> Thanks to Mrs. Max Opshop in Exmouth. This is the third race this afternoon, and this is the Woodlands Handicap over a thousand metres. In the corner, Centipede just in front of the ruler, who's putting me in the outside. Centipede is hanging on. Wins from Marauder, third, best day ever, and last of all, Dynamic Express. Sally Hammock was winning on Centipede. That's my horse, yes, isn't it wonderful? FT Stedman handicap, 1,000 metres, they're creeping towards the 1,000 metre marker now. He lets them go, right hammer got the best to start. At the 200, round the bend, and Grover Slash is going well. Got a left in front, Carburetta under pressure now. Grover Slash goes round the corner clear, and Grover Slash going mostly. Three lengths clear on Carburetta, and Grover Slash wins well. Grover Slash by three, Carburetta got second, right hammer third, and Fuzzy Bear came in last of all. Yeah, hi, I'm Rick Fenny. I'm a veterinary surgeon. And our vet nurse from Exmouth, Shane, Shane Carter, has her own horse in this race, and she's riding it herself, and it's her first ride in a in an official race. And on the track, the Landmark Ladies Bracelet, led out by number one, our Revolution, ridden and trained by Shane Carter, beautiful grey gelding, has won three races here at Nandor. Quadrio Earth Moving, our thanks for your sponsorship. Also to Landmark for sponsoring the feature race today. Very, very close here. The Ara Flyer or Antipsino. Yes! <laughs> that was the best race to win. But I wish Sandy, I wish it could have yep. been a dead heat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Ladies, bracelet this afternoon, number two, Deanna Flutter. Happy with the big horse, he's done it again. Sure, so my name's Sarah Haddon. Uh, this is my second year at Landor. So I wear, obviously, the dark glasses. It's a bit bright today out there, so they sort of help out a bit. You want to wear goggles of some sort anyway. You see some of the girls have got face shields on, keep their face clear from rocks. Injuries are, are pretty, um, you know, they're not that common here for me, or, or I think for most people, but you've got to keep fit. Uh, make sure you ride with confidence. We wear a vest, um, you'll see under here. Keeps us protected and helmet, uh, gloves, everything like that. So we're pretty safe if we do take a spill. Um, but generally we try not to fall off. And if you do, you've got to go with the flow because if you tense up, that's when it hurts. So just had two rides today, riding for David Hammerquist and Beth Gandy. Uh, they gave me a couple of rides last year. I'm a, a bit overweight this year because I'm probably the biggest jockey here. So they've still kindly let me ride overweight. Um, but it's good. The first ride in the first race ran second, Veritasium. And we're just about to ride a new horse for them called Pseudo Sky. So fingers crossed that uh, we have a bit of luck and, and show them some, some form again. If you had to, if you had a daughter getting into um, horse racing and jockeying, what tip would you give her? Uh, just to work hard and be confident and uh, always talk to people. That's one of the best things is being confident about talking to owners and trainers. They like you to be articulate. They like you to give feedback. And especially if you're not sure, ask questions people always like to give you help you know you might not want all the information that comes your way but the more you have you can pick and bits that suit what you're doing and you can learn from that. Hi my name is Beth Gandy I'm from Manigasta Station. Training two horses at Landor this year. The best thing I find about the horses is the kind eye, nice muzzle, nice ears and good confirmation would be nice straight legs, not too hippie, um, nice and round. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they're a nice ride and they can gallop well. Coming at them in one of the corners they came out at the 200 and just in front on the inside there, Lord Hammer. Lord Hammer in front of 2 out of 10 and about 10 outside the hand cannon around the corner. It's still Lord Hammer just in front. Second placing, 10 out of 10, hand cannon got third, then came about third. And well done to Lord Hammer, trained by Gina Vance, written by Claire Watson, wins the Yellow Wheel or Handicap. Don't have to do a needy run now. Oh. I don't Thank Christ for that. I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just she just got out of it. <laughs> Mystery, Boom Man, the long gap to Patriot Games and long stride. Last race today, Berengar handicap. Black Cumberland in the last race today. Good job, Sally.